Hi, this is David Yak, and in this short video, we're going to look at which CDS connector you should use when you're building a Power Automate flow. For starters, you land here at the connection picker, and it might seem obvious that you would just simply pick the common data service, but it turns out it's not that obvious. So let's talk about when you should choose each of the three different connector possibilities you have. First, let's talk about this one that we have right here. This common data service is good if you're building a flow that is not inside a solution or you need to explicitly talk to two or more environments in your flow to do integration between those environments. You'll notice if you search on common data service, you get a second connector. Now you only will see this if you start building the flow within a solution. If you're only seeing one of the connectors, the one that we just talked about previously, then that means you're probably building your flow outside of a solution. Generally, you want to build your flow in a solution if you have that available to you. When you're building a flow in a solution, you should use the Common Data Service Current Environment Connector. It offers the best deployment experience, and it also offers the most robust capabilities for working with the Common Data Service. Now what's important is you must make this choice every time you add an action to your flow. If, for example, at some point you get lazy and choose the other one, you'll be mixing the two connectors and your deployment experience will not be as ideal. So to recap, you always want to use the Common Data Service Current Environment Connector if you're building a solution within a flow. Now for those of you that are extending Dynamics 365, you might be asking, what about the connector that is there for Dynamics 365? So if we search on Dynamics 365, you might think it might be a good idea to go ahead and use this connector. This connector is being deprecated and retired because it doesn't have all the robust capabilities that the current environment connector has. So you generally, if you have a flow that is already using it, that's okay, it, they won't stop working. But if you're building a new flow, especially if you're building it in a solution, you're gonna wanna use the Common Data Service current environment. Thanks for joining us in looking at which connector we should use when we build a Power Automate flow. Remember that the best experience is the Common Data Service Current Environment Connector. See you next time.